and the cage is back. The car was gone for a couple of weeks while Piper Motorsports built this thing. They do phenomenal work. Uh, this is my third S2000 with the Piper cage in it, and it is top-notch work as always. So thank you, Piper. Uh, thanks, Mitch. We're doing a great job here. So about the cage itself, I had a few things done. I had Mitch reinforce the, the new wing I got, the trunk area, so that's rock solid and sturdy, doesn't move at all. I'll show you guys that when it's bolted back to the car. Uh, differences in this cage versus the previous cage. This is, by the way, my third Piper Motorsports cage at S2000 now. If you look over here, I went to the package shelf with this and set to the floor. That buys you a little bit of extra room in the car. Um, Piper triangulates all these points here. You see everything crosses over uh, and it's kind of just triangulated as much as possible. Uh, these are kind of like his trademark bars he do, does, and these are super great, actually, when you're in the car to help pull yourself out of there and climb out of your roll cage. Uh, great quality welds, top-notch everything. You can take a look how nicely he tucked away this, uh, this cross area here where your leg would rest on the other side. You can see it a little bit cleaner here. Uh, foot protection bars goes all the way to the firewall. The S2000 does have this bar that goes across. We added another one right over here. Legs easily clear that, never will make contact there. I went with the FIA X-Brace design here, which I really like. It's bowed out just a little bit. I wanted to retain the glass in the car and the power windows uh, just for practicality. Originally, I wasn't gonna do it, and then after giving it a thought and hanging windows and all that, I decided uh, I have to add weight to the car anyway. Let's just do it this way. Now, there's so much stuff that people go back and forth on regarding the NASCAR bar, which is the curved bar design that goes out here into the door. You can't retain any of the glass with that bar set up uh, versus the FIA X-Brace. And I've been going with the FIA X-Brace recently. I did have a car with the NASCAR bar set up. They both work fine. Uh, I like this setup again to retain the door, uh, the door card if you want, and obviously the power windows and everything like that. So a super strong setup. You're gonna see it in rally cars and stuff like that. This is under tension. There's not any curves to bend in. So if this part's to bend in, it's gonna to have to pull these two parts in with it. So that's where the strength in that brace is. It's a, it's a nice setup. Downsides being that uh, the NASCAR bars usually go all the way to the door. So light taps and stuff like that hits in the door, they'll protect you a little bit better over there. Uh, they do buy you a little bit more room, kind of whatever, you know, I fit fine in this. So. That's some of the decision-making uh, that I chose to go with this FIX brace behind. So that's that highly personal opinion. Uh, talking with Piper, as far as safety, same thing. So it's just really a preference thing. Guys on the internet will argue this back and forth all day long. Um, I just went with what I liked. Having both setups from the S1000, I like this setup better. So that's what I went with. Uh, you can see the color that this interior is going to be. The whole interior is going to be painted rust -oleum smoke gray so i'm working on getting all the wiring harnesses and everything out taped up this weekend i'll do a little spraying he also built a really really nice ballast setup for me uh this just bolts to the stock passenger seat area using uh stock locations and i can throw a bunch of weight on there massive nut on the top can't see it yet but you'll see it in future videos i did a one inch uh bar that's down there on the pinch weld and that's just a center jacking point just to help uh Get the car up a little bit easier. You can jack right from there. Car will jack up nice and stiff, obviously, because there's a full cage in it. And uh, just throw two jacks, done, nice and easy, just to help the car uh, just make it a little bit easier at the track, a little more practical. Try to make things easy as I can. Uh, you can see over there, I got a bunch of boxes there. Those are the stop tech brakes that have to go on. I still got the suspension to put on, offset bushings. So there's a few things you gotta still detail up the car. Right now, the biggest thing before we can get going is getting the uh, the interior painted. I'll feel a lot better when that's done. So, some, some video of the cage and the design. And then as far as the uh, the hardtop goes, this was a brand new forbidden POS hardtop. Well, there was a lot of cutting that needed to be done to get that roll cage as far away from the driver as possible. So unfortunate, but that's what needs to be done. 
it's not as bad with the OEM hardtop. You just take all the headliner out, there's gonna be a lot more room, but these things have a ton of air gaps, as you can see, between the inner and the outer later that have to be adjusted. And that's it. I'll have some more videos uh, as I get this uh, whole wiring harness ripped out of the car. I gotta get the surge tank out and a little bit more prep work and we'll be good to go.